Good morning, everybody. PJ here. AK4 PJ. Made me a 40 meter dipole. Just got it tied to the fence post right now on a painter stick. I put it backwards to get the uh, fiberglass version at the top. I don't know how the metal would have affected it, but anyway. About 32 and a half feet long, and I've got it right over the fence. I wanted to do, I did all my SWR checks on the ground and then had it flat. Putting it over the fence, it went from probably about a 1.1 a .1 on like 7.160 something to about a 1.4. So it didn't, didn't go up much. It went up some, but not much. But I've got that and what I was trying to do is like some kind of like a in invis antenna and this is for a dipole that's what it all says 15 height in the middle and then up so high off the ends but off the fence I can only go so much I don't know if you can see like the little dog bone things where it's up off the fence so it's not far uh, I'm not sure how I mean it's working good but over here you can't see it probably in this camera but right up in here uh, actually it's right well the way I'm pointing it's actually gonna be like right up in here uh, about 35 feet high in the middle is my end fed and it comes from right here and goes up there it is right there I don't know if you can see it it's right there cuts down and then goes over to that far tree right there uh, so I've been flipping in between both of them just to see and right now I don't see much of a difference so I might have to reconfigure this one a little bit maybe either I don't know I thought about lowering the center down a little bit and raising the legs up because right now it's on I don't know I'd say probably about a 22 and a half if I was to guess uh, I don't know if you can see it right there but this one I'm wanting for like more short contacts then I can use the end fed and I'll go in here and flip around on the band here in just a minute and let you see and like I say this is all a test so this might change so I might play with this a little bit so I'm not gonna make too long of videos because I'm just showing uh, experimenting I guess but we'll go in here in the, in the shack and I'll flip around on the bands and we'll see if there's any difference uh, but we'll go inside. All right. Now we're going to play around with it in here. I've been listening to this guy for a second. Let's see. I'm going to start. This is on the end fed. Hear the noise come in. Maybe S7. Maybe peaking at S8 every once in a while. That's the dot. Hear it clear up. Peaking S9. Oh, well, uh, I don't think I have anything else to add. Uh, you're getting close to, uh, uh, well, about seven minutes left here. So let me turn it back to you, Jim. I pull before you go. We'll hang around for a second and see the other guys. He's been talking a while, so I've got to mess with him. Still on the dipole. Held, uh, Joe's signal held up uh, pretty good. One to the uh, infield. It was close enough together, I guess, for uh, short, short, uh, for, for the... Uh, it definitely clears up on the dipole. Uh, it is held up pretty good, too. Uh, but, Jim, I'm sorry to say, I almost lost you on your comments to uh, Joe there. So I hope you can hear me. Definitely picking up more noise. But the dipole is lower to the ground, so that's to be expected. But his, his signal goes up. Now this guy's super low. He's not even moving the needle. I hear him talking. 
A lot of noise. This is the Dapo line. I can actually hear what he was saying there. Infield. Quite a bit of noise with him. sitting on the infield, but a little more noise. So I'm not so sure I can't hear more clear, even though it's a lower signal on the dipole. This guy's like really low. This is the dipole I'm still on. Let's see what he does on the infield. Let's change it all on that one. This guy, I can't hardly even hear him. Closing in there.
Because Lake City's in Florida. Okay, Cape City, Virginia. Got it. Okay, Jerry, that's uh, Victor. Uh, it's Kilo 4 Victor Delta Hotel. Jerry, in Cape City, Virginia. We had overcast skies, 40 degrees, going up to 58. $67.38 for the right ticket. In the end, I finally got it right, Jerry. That guy's in Virginia, Gabe, she didn't know. That's the dipole. He come up about an S unit. In Fed. You see how it comes up just a little. On the dipole. That's the end of it. Eight city. Okay. All right, Jerry. We got you. We got you down right this time. I'm going to die. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put you right up on the top shelf with the whatnot. Seven three. Okay. And I should have remembered that, too, because I think, I think that happened to me a couple of times in before field. when you checked in. I never could get the, the right uh, uh, city. Next one up, I got four echo. Infield. This is the uh, Dapo. Infield. Dapo. Well, like I say, not too scientific right here. Uh, and they both seem to be performing about the same, really. Uh, I might need to lower the uh, other one down because the whole idea is to get an invis kind of uh, near vertical uh, antenna. So. I might have to lower the center down and maybe pull the legs out a little bit and see if that helps. I'm hoping it being over the fence will act kind of as a reflector. Uh, that part I don't know. I might have to try it over just regular ground too and see if that makes a difference. But Still going to play around with it. So there might be another video or two of this uh, 40 meter uh, invis antenna. Uh, and I know there's other ways to make them just flat. I could probably do that with this one. Uh, I was just trying to find a way to do it without, you know, having to weed eat around it. <laughs> so, uh, let's see how it works. Uh, but y'all have a good one. Till the next one. AK4PJ.